Hello, hello everyone, and today I will be showing you my electrical coloring book from, let me see, I forget now, 1966. Yep, you heard me right. 1966. Right there. The price for this thing was, find it here, and the camera will actually focus. Yeah, you see. Here, just a second. Let me just zoom in. One camera focus. I don't know if you can see that, but that says two dollars. You can tell it's good quality. You know, there's three more. Hey, I found my favorite page. Well, not my favorite page, whatever this is called. But yeah, it's my favorite page. 193. And my favorite thing right there. Which I don't know if you can see because it's very blurry. It says capacitors. This book here was given to me by my grandpa. It's an old book. Thanks for watching, and I'll Today I will be see reviewing. You. Well, not really reviewing, but just showing you what I found today. Wow, those LEDs are really blue on camera. They're about the same blue as this in real life. Just about the same. Not exactly. This thing has been. Completely powered by AAA batteries. Let me get this thing open. I'm in. Thanks for the help of my trusty. Again, blurry. Mastercraft screwdriver. Takes three AAAs. So I pull up my trusty multimeter. It's a thing to. Just a second here. 20 volts. And I measure from one point to the other. I get no voltage for some reason. Let's try the other way. Let's just see. I get two volts. This battery might be completely dead. I believe this one's dead. But yeah, if I pop a battery out, and I try to turn the thing on, it doesn't do anything. Even with this thing off and set to amps, look what it can do. It can power the whole thing. Maybe you can see the blue now. Now that it's a bit darker. I don't know. You might be able to... No, it still looks the same. But yeah. That's just it running off 3 volts. Not much better. Pop your battery in and it's real bright. Each battery except for this one is 1.5 volts. Thanks for watching and all everybody and today I will be showing you what I use to switch on and off my power for my trusty power supply. This just goes this cable here goes to my exit sign. This is the trusty power supply. This is the power. All these cables are here. I really had to have it all plugged in at once. I would either use this, 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 or this guy, or this guy. 
Right. Since I'm just doing something really quick, I'll just plug all this stuff back into this. Perfect. Set that aside. But, see this button here? That's what powers this outlet. Or was it this outlet? I don't remember now. Oh, it was upside down, so it's this outlet that's always on. This outlet switched. It has a switch here for switch or dimmer. I usually have it set to dimmer because yeah. just if I plug my trusty light bulb into this side, see there's no power unless I hit the switch. Then the light bulb comes on. And sometimes it doesn't go off. I figured out how it gets to turn off. See how I have it set to switch? But it still thinks it's on dimmer. But if you take this out and plug it in on this side, it's not controlled. So that's why sometimes I'll have something like this plugged in to, I don't know, charge my iPad. Or my main computer. Or I don't know. Run my exit sign. But what I usually do is just either I don't use this side or I just like one thing to it. I take this thing and it set to my AC. Turn it on. Probe it. There is voltage. It works. And it works good. If you unplug it, Again, yes, it's set to switch. You plug it back in.